Scott Walker, the governor, is working feverishly to pass legislation, to pass a bill here that would eradicate the rights of workers, public sector workers, to have collective bargaining. I'll take that needle back when you're done with it, the wooden one. <laughs> uh, Madison Knitters think this bill should be unraveled. My name is Karen Craig, and um, I'm here to show that a bunch of people really don't like this bill. Well, I had this idea, but really, um, Kristen and I planned it together. And then the only reason there's so many people here is because Kristen is connected to the knitting community. And um, so she told the sow's ear about it. And because of that, the news really got out. It, this is the first time we've done this. And our friend walked around and counted 80 people. It's not just people who are in unions, because I'm not in a union, and I'm not a state employee, though my husband is. It affects everybody. I'm here because I love my neighbors. There are some other really heinous things in the bill that would also affect lower income and middle class families, but one of the most atrocious acts is to eradicate collective bargaining for public sector workers, uniform workers. He made an attempt to separate the police and the fire department and say, okay, I'm gonna give you guys a separate deal, but everybody else I'm gonna crush. And I'm really thankful for the fact that Wisconsin was like, no way in heck are we gonna let you get away with taking the last bit of hope that we have to secure our working environments, our health care, and our pensions. I don't think the people who built this building, the Italian immigrants, really, really knew that someday it would really turn into the people's house. Not just a name, but in actuality. They're living here. They're camping here. My daughter's camping here tonight. So we're, we're down here to support her and everybody else who's been doing this courageous fight. I'm helping out by giving food to the people who are staying here all night. Uh, a lot of people have been here for days and days on end. They haven't left this building. They haven't gone home to go get food. Uh, so I'm here taking food that's been donated by businesses, by fellow protesters, by people who are here that just care a lot. Um, we're spreading this around, giving it to all those people who are kind of hungry right now. You want some food? <laughs> yeah, just wash your hands first. We're, we're spreading the love, not the germs. 15 seconds. Yeah, we're trying to we're trying to keep this place sanitary and trying to keep our and trying to keep our our cause strong by giving people food. Well, I first came to support my mom and dad because they are both teachers in the school system, and I'm a student at UW Sheboygan. And um, then I realized that how many people it was affecting, and Man, I started off coming for my family, but now I've come for my family. <laughs> um, yeah, the other, it, I think it started the other day when we got, were forced down in the rotunda. It was just a big pile of blankets and stuff. She was walking past, and then she was like, oh my god, it's a cuddle bottle. I started from there. <laughs> yes. It got pretty big. <laughs> I mean, last night there weren't really walkways around here, and you know, we were worried that they were going to kick some people out, but they wouldn't, we wouldn't let them go. <laughs> Um, I've heard that they might be kicking people out tomorrow, and um, that doesn't worry me. If I, I, I brought all my kids, and so I think that if they wanted us to leave, we probably would just leave. I would like to be escorted out knitting. I think that would be a beautiful sight. <laughs>
here for like the 12th day straight. People are out here protesting the fact that there are other ways to repair the budget without taking away workers' civil rights. The 14 Democratic state senators on the day that the Senate was supposed to convene decided that instead of putting up with um, the undemocratic pushing through of legislation, they would leave the state. And because the GOP only has 19, they're one short of quorum. So without one of the Democratic senators, they can't vote on any fiscal bills. And they're saying that they won't come back until Walker agrees to negotiate. Since Valentine's Day, February 14th, there have been people protesting and camping out inside the Capitol. It started with a camp out for people who wanted to testify at the public hearing. Um, and they were not being allowed to speak, so they decided to stay over. And it's pretty much turned into a symbolic proclamation that this is the people's house and can't kick us out, so. We are inside the Wisconsin State Capitol building, which has become home to this. Um, during the day and at night, pretty much the same. I mean, I've seen a few things in the press that have said that the Capitol building has become a socialist hippie commune, which, I mean, as much as it's not, it kind of almost feels that way, that everyone in here just kind of is taking care of each other. And like, really, you could live in here, not pay for food, and not pay for anything, and survive completely fine. So, that's, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> I was thinking summer camp, but... Yeah, I actually never went to summer camp, so I wouldn't know, but hippie summer camp. <laughs> On Sunday at 4 o'clock, um, apparently the building is closing. Essentially, the people who have been there for a week and a half are saying that they're not going to leave, so you could see some civil disobedience. I am considering staying in the Capitol and letting them remove me instead of removing them. <laughs> I think knitting is a calm, peaceful thing to do, and just, I, I think being here keeps tensions lower. We're anticipating that the building is going to be closed this afternoon. Our job, the people that I'm working with, is to try to keep it as calm and peaceful as possible. We're encouraging people to be prepared. And the younger people today don't know uh, how to handle the situation if they are arrested or asked to leave a situation like that. They have several choices. They can go passively and just go out and probably no consequence of any kind. They can uh, resist uh, peacefully and get a citation, but not resist in any overt way. Or they can sit down or go limp and be carried out. That's when it starts getting a little dicey. If you decide to be arrested, know what the potential consequences are. Uh, if they resist uh, any kind of uh, obvious attack on an officer or even uh, a, 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 a modest approach to an officer can be construed as resisting arrest and that escalates it to a whole different level and it could affect some of these students especially uh, throughout their lives. Some people have said that people who are planning on leaving might go downstairs at 3.30, and then we might leave together. Um, and then I, I'm not gonna put up much of a fuss, but so when somebody asks me to leave specifically, uh, I'll do that. Uh, most people who have been here are not sleeping here. So just because nobody's sleeping here tonight, or possibly, or probably nobody's sleeping here tonight, doesn't mean that we've left the Capitol. We'll be back tomorrow. Yeah, so you don't feel like you have to be arrested to make that point? No. Uh, it would be, in fact, uh, against the spirit of knitting. Yeah, and also the... Uh, you can go to one and two floors. If you go to the first floor, it's a European building, so there's a ground floor and a first floor. Uh -huh. you go to that floor there, that's the floor that you're on if you want to get arrested. Mm -hmm. If you go to the 
ground floor, which is the floor you walk in on. That floor, you'll be leaving peacefully at around 4 o'clock when they clear the building. So you have a choice of which one you want to go to. But we just need to get you off of this floor so they can block this floor. Okay? Thank you. And take okay. your stuff. They want to block off this floor, so we're going to move to the ground floor, I think. All right. I guess we're going to move. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> You can